Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana. Recently, or about two or three days ago, William Ruto was in Meru where we saw him attacking Kiraitu Murungi. So Kiraitu Murungi has eventually responded to William Ruto's attacks. Listen into this. Lakini usiji hapa kusema hapa ni kwangu na mkionekana mtu mwingine eh hiyo mtu anamleta hapa nyumbaya. Kumekuwa kwako lini? Eh Meru ni yetu. Wewe umetutembelea. Ni ni kama yule mtu anaenda huko eh, Swiss Alps eh, kwenda for ski. Alafu anasema hiyo mlima ni wake. Eh Meru ni yetu. Na sisi tukiwa wa Meru, sisi ndio tutawasikiliza na tuseme ni nani ambayo tunaona anafaa ili kuingia kwa hiyo kiti. Nafikiri hiyo ndio msimamo wa mangava na wengine wote wa mlima. E, sisi hata sisi tumechaguliwa na watu. Na tunasikiliza na watu wetu wanatusikiliza. E, so e, tunafikiri ni makosa makubwa kwenda kutukana watu na unatafuta kura ni, ni kama vile tu na no, kama unataka kuwa kuwa mama ama msichana si unaongea na yeye vizuri eh uende uende kumtukana na nafikiri wandaye atakuwa bibi yako yeah na tasema hiyo mtu ni mwandawazi yeah yes that's kiraitu murungi responding to william ruto You know William Ruto of late has been making some very very serious mistakes on the mountain. Sometimes back William Ruto declared himself the mountain kingpin and that rubbed some shoulders the wrong way. So about two days or three days ago now he was also in Meru and we saw him attacking Kiraitu Murungi. And then for the better part of today he was in some parts of Embu and also in Tarakanidi and we saw he, he had got a very hard time trying to sell his agenda to the people an indication that residents of Mount Kenya have started rebelling against William Ruto in case you missed our earlier video where we did, where we did his tours and journeys in Tarakanidi then you can check through our YouTube channel you will get them there some of our latest in this channel So in this video today I want us to discuss five reasons why I strongly believe beyond any reasonable doubt that William Ruto is surely losing the mountain vote or is eventually going to lose the mountain vote that's our analysis and discussion today so if in case you just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very very first time Kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like please. Thank you, God bless you. The first reason, William Ruto has fallen out with almost all the kingpins from Mount Kenya. Starting with Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, hmm? the sole kingpin of the mountain. He has fallen out with Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. And if you leave alone Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, William Ruto has also fallen out with other smaller kingpins of the region the likes of Kiraitu Murungi the likes of Peter Munya the likes of William Kabogo and such other kind of kingpins he has fallen out with almost all of them and William Ruto is is trying to use first time members of parliament very inexperienced leaders maybe to reach out to the people so because he has already He has already fallen out with the kingpins. I strongly believe that he has already lost the mountain vote because largely our politics is ethnic based. People listen to their ethnic kingpins and Mount Kenya will not be an exception. That's the reality of our Kenyan politics. Secondly, William Ruto has so many skeletons in his closet. As far as he has been dealing Eh, with the mountain people the ghost of 2007 
still hangs loose around William Ruto's neck. And as 2022 approaches, I know that will be used very effectively against William Ruto. And it will work very, very effectively. Residents of Mount Kenya will just be reminded of the 2007 post-election violence where it's believed that William Ruto might have played a major role in funding those kind of violences. And we saw William Ruto being taken to the Hague where he was charged of crimes against humanity. That is most likely going to be used very effectively against him. And that has the potential of building emotion among residents of Mount Kenya. And as, that, as such emotions build, William Ruto will be hated on the mountain. That's something that most likely will, will affect William Ruto's chances or votes on the mountain. And then fourthly, or rather thirdly, William Ruto is coming out as arrogant and overrating himself on the mountain. He's overrating himself. Just recently again, William Ruto was trying to send away to chase small parties from Mount Kenya. He was saying that he's not willing to work with small parties from Mount Kenya. And he was just trying to insinuate that he wants to deal with the people directly. And also of late, he has been very, very busy attacking and abusing leaders from the mountain. So William Ruto is appearing to be very arrogant and actually overrating himself on the mountain. He believes that he already has the mountain, the mountain vote, which might be very, very far from the truth. So that alone again can just make William Ruto lose some very, very good votes from Mount Kenya. Yes. And then the corruption cases. You know, William Ruto has so many corruption cases. I've had some people saying, oh no, you know people from the mountain do not care about that and such kind of talks. The truth of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, is that William Ruto, has, he will be declining on the mountain. Just a small thing will actually increase his declining. Just a small thing like corruption, the mega scandals of corruption, that alone will spiral his descending on the mountain. Because now, the people of the mountain will be told and they will be fed to understand that this man is very, very corrupt. Mm -hmm. Very, very corrupt. And then with the post-election violence and the kind of arrogance he's exhibiting, such things like corruption will also just spice up. Mm, he's hated on the mountain mm, and the people will just buy that idea mm. they will just buy that idea and then fifthly Lu Ruto is a lone ranger mm. a lone ranger he has not been able to attract any serious presidential candidates for an alliance and we know that in Kenya to win any election you need some kind of alliances but William Ruto is projecting himself as a lone ranger. And you know, a lone ranger cannot create a euphoria. Euphorias are being created, or rather are created, out of alliances. So I tend to believe that William Ruto's opponents, in the event they come up with an alliance, where they support one candidate, that will have the potential of creating some kind of a euphoria. And once that euphoria is created, then most likely it will sweep across the country and Mount Kenya will not be an exception. So I strongly believe William Ruto will most definitely lose the mountain vote because he has not been able to attract any serious eh, po political kingpins in Kenya today. He has failed to do that. And also because of that, his opponents will be able to create a euphoria that will most likely also sweep across the mountain. So in that, should that happen, he will just end up losing the mountain vote. Because the residents of Mount Kenya will also not be want, or rather they will also want to be part of the incoming government. Nobody wants to be in the opposition. I tend to believe as that happens, William Ruto will just lose the mountain vote. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that those are the main reasons why most definitely William Ruto will lose the mountain vote. You will lose it definitely.
So just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And if you are watching us for the very, very first time, and you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. And to our fans and subscribers in this YouTube channel, I'm very, very much humbled and very, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. By constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And to any other person who is also a fan of our videos, but you have not yet subscribed, take this opportunity, hit on the subscription button, and if possible, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.